What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for NIO with the ticker symbol NIO. I will first be going over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you have not already. I'm trying to hit, get the channel to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know we can do it guys. Just got to hit the subscribe button down below. You don't ever have to buy anything from me, but if you can just like the video and hit the subscribe button, uh, that's uh, greatly appreciated. So let's take a look at the daily chart for NEO. Um, you can see that price is basically doing what's expected to occur after we had this large move up higher. Price broke the green channel, made a new high, and then we sold off back below this 1450 level because that was a um, important level. Uh, however, I think I'm going to go ahead and remove the arrow now and move the uh, horizontal line a little bit lower. I think this is more of an important level than that 1450 level right over here because you can see that we had support right here. Some, 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 somewhat of a support back here, resistance here and a resistance here. So this looks like the key level, and Neo just bounced from it today. So we'll see if this will continue to trend up higher. Uh, I don't think so. I think this is going to be a temporary closed at that level. I think we're going to still still see lower price targets, and the reason being is that this was a unsustainable move up higher. So normally, when you see a nice move up, it has swings inside of it, so it's forming like a base. Uh, but whenever we go up like this then that means shorts can easily wipe out that entire move. Over here, uh, it's harder to wipe out the move because they have to go through these levels. But when it goes up in a straight line, then we can go back down in a straight line. So it's a uh, symmetrical move. Uh, it's a V bottom, it's an inverse V uh, pattern. So sometimes you guys heard of V bottom reversals. Well, this is an inverse V, meaning we can reverse back down the same way we came up. So this is still looking bearish. Even though we're kind of at this key level right here, uh, we'll see if it holds up. Uh, I don't think I, it will. In the in the short term, it's bearish, and the macro structure is bearish because um, this uptrend has played out, and we're overextended. So the EMA has caught up, but this still is looking bearish. So as long as price is still within this blue channel, I'm going to be looking for the downside price targets. I'm looking for the ten dollar level, and the reason I'm looking for the mid mid ten dollar level is because that was a key level. Um, you can see that price, actually the mid $9 level was the key level, but this $10 level was the breakout point. So that's where this entire up move started. So you can see the up move started right here. So a lot of times when price starts coming back towards that starting point, it can come right to it. So this mid $10 level is a target. I'm not saying we get there for sure, but it definitely looks like a target that price can reach. Uh, we'll see if this orange trend line can um, stop price from dropping down lower right over here. And that's, you know, at the $12 level. Uh, but either way, this $10.50 level looks like a magnet. Uh, so NEO continues to sell off. Uh, you know, at once it was trading at the $16 level. Now it's trading at the $13 level. So let's take a look at that drop so far. That's a 17% drop. And I'm expected to see another, you know, another 15% drop. So uh, NEO still looking bearish. You can see that we had an uptrend break, new high. Couldn't continue any higher. Uh, couldn't make a um, stronger impulse up. So a strong sell off. Uh, we kind of closed okay at the level, at this 1350 level, but I mean, that doesn't mean uh, anything if you compare it against to everything else. That's just one thing. Uh, if you compare it against everything else, it's still looking bearish in the short term and macro term uh, structures. Uh, so Neo still looking bearish. We have this blue channel working lower now. I'm going to go ahead and race this circle. I'm going to go and race this line. So basically, I'm going to focus on this blue channel working lower, and I'm going to be focusing on this target right over here. So I'll put a trend line on the target. So this $10.50 level, we'll see if uh, price can get there or not. Uh, so that's all I have for NEO. Basically, uh, you know, I don't really see upside as of right now. Uh, maybe when the short-term downtrend plays out, I can look for more upside potential. But right now, it looks like the bears have control of the market. Now, let's take a look at the weekly chart. So here's the weekly chart for NEO. And on the weekly chart, it looks like this line is, you know, a little bit more higher. Like right here fits better at this 1450 level. So that's why I was saying if we go below it, then that's a very bad sign uh, because we can go much lower. So, you know, it's right around here. Basically, NEO either way was definitely overextended. You can see we had this massive green bar and no follow through right after. So it, what, what it would have been really good if we saw a big green bar and then like we saw, you know, price continue to push up higher, something like that. We don't want to see a huge move up and then, you know, like that. That's a reversal sign. I've seen that numerous times. Um, so you don't want to see that. So Neo still looking bearish. We had a 
a red week last week. This week is looking even worse than last week. It's a big red bar. It hasn't finished yet. So it, maybe it'll turn positive. We'll have to wait and see. But Neil looking like it's coming back to this weekly EMA. And that's right around that mid $10 level. We'll see if you can get there. So I'm bearish, you know, for Neo in the short term, uh, long term, if it can stay above this level or around this point right here, above the nine dollar fifty cents level, then there's a good chance we'll probably see higher price targets. Uh, but that's all I have for Neo so far. Short term bearish, long term we'll wait and see. Uh, but I'm looking for lower price targets, and that's all I have for Neo this Wednesday. And I'll probably give you guys an update next week Monday. This is V Trades, and thank you for your time. The V Trades Technical Analysis course is now live. Learn to read the chart the right way to prevent costly mistakes. Click the link below to start training now.